Hello and welcome to the Virtual Grim Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. Today I'm going to be using the Supply Injector Razor. Um, I'm going to insert a new blade here and you're going to watch me do it. Um, with this specific razor, I've actually had some issues kind of inputting the blade. It seems as if kind of on the insertion, it kind of gets stuck. So what I've been doing is I've been dipping it in water, like so putting the key in that way and then basically the, the way they suggest on the advert is well so much of the advert is when you insert the blade ensure that the blade doesn't kind of touch the kind of safety bar at the bottom so the way I've been doing it is I wedge it up as far to the side as I can go until I'm sure it's not going to be touching the safety bar and I can actually nudge the other blade out. There we go. Bang. That blade will then fall out, as you can see. I'm going to grab it here. Bang. Put that aside for now. And then take the blade out. So it's as, it's as easy as that. Um, the injector is an easy tool to use. However, I still think it's a bit cumbersome. Um, mainly down to the fact that when I want to clean my razor after the shave, it isn't the most convenient sort of blade to put back in. Um, however, let's get on to the other things I'm using for this shave, the software. I'm surprised I've not made a video of this yet. Uh, this is one of my favorite soaps, just outright. The Parasa White for sensitive skin. I've used the aftershave balm. I've used the pre-shave. I've never used the soap, so I'm gonna be doing a full Parasa White shave today with this supply razor, looking forward to it. I've already um, kind of began the whip up of the lather here, I'm bowl lathering. The reason I bowl lather this soap over face lather is because I don't like loading straight from that kind of bowl they supply you. One, because the soap is very soft, and two, I feel as if um, Parasso White is, well, just Parasso soaps in general an incredible bowl latherer. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prepare my face, put some pre-shave on, wet my face, do all that normal stuff, and when I be when I come back, we'll start loading up. Or lathering up rather. I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, um excuse my squint squinting, but I'm back. Um press a white pre-shave is on. Gonna get the kind of beautiful lather I've made here, and I'm gonna apply it to my face. Give it a good blaster or lather rather. Brush, Omega Professional Bore. Really like this brush for bow lathering. To be honest, I'm yet to find another brush that performs, well, bore brush specifically, that performs quite as well as this guy because I think he's fantastic. I think he's fantastic, so. This is the tricky bit, because of the size of the knot, to get under the nose. There we go. Really nice. Okay, so, as you see, First use, unlike my last shave with this razor, this is the first use of the blade. I'm going to be giving my thoughts kind of as the shave progresses. Let's do it. Supply razor on setting one with the grain. So I will say, anyone that uses this razor would agree that it feels incredibly mild. It's funny, right, because in the advert, or like kind of the promotion for it, it marketed some, like a quote from someone, I've, I don't know who has said it, but wipes away hair. Wouldn't quite agree with that. However, if there's any razor that wipes away hair, it's probably this one. <laughs> It 
issue is I've found using its awfully deceptive in a sense because what you'll find because it doesn't feel like anything you get a bit cocky as Ken Surfs likes to say you get a bit overconfident, get a bit cocky with the razor you start to apply some more pressure, start to shave a bit faster and before you know it, I don't get, tend to get many cuts. Mine is a um, bit of razor burning. No one likes razor burn. To be honest, I think I'd rather have cuts than razor burn. So as you can see, I am taking a bit of extra care with it because again, I've gone overconfident with this before and it's made me pay, so. No matter how user-friendly a company markets a razor to be, always remember it has something sharp in it. That's my advice anyway. Because what do sharp things do? They cut you. <laughs> It feels incredibly smooth. Uh, you can't take that away from it. Something that, again, I think I said that in my first video, something that annoys me is kind of the shape of the handle. It makes this upward stroke kind of difficult for me. I, I really do like the smell of this Prancer White. It's just so um, refreshing. Oatmeal, green tea. Not an arson soap, but still one of my favourites, you know. I'll always have this in the den somewhere, regardless of what soaps I'm using at the time. Okay, um... That's a good past one, much better than my last shave with it. Um, I'm going to rinse off, I'll see you for past two. I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, past two time. So, again, Parasa White Bowl Lathered. Let's apply it evenly to the face. Get a good load of it here. Look at that. This, this brush is a beast. Funnily enough, like when it's fully splayed, it just whoosh, it swallows my whole face. Wow. This is my choice for um, kind of morning soap. When you want to be woken up. It's not too overpowering. Like uh, you get some of those chiseled face soaps. I've not used it, but I've seen people use it. And it just knocks you for six. That, that isn't the sort of soap I want. I want something which, because um, you guys probably know by now, I kind of uh, predominantly shave with cold water. What that means is Soaps that are colder, a bit colder, um, and this is no exception to that rule, so. Just having a bit of fun painting, painting on here. Okay, um, supply razor, blade, first use, kind of with the, well, across the grain, towards my nose. Taking extra care here because I don't want to be overconfident and then oh god I've got razor burn. No one likes razor burn, and if you do, you're a psycho. It's one of the hardest parts to talk while shaving is that mustache. Because it'd be like oh no I took my lip off. I don't want to do that. 
Um, couple new subscribers recently. Welcome to you. Uh, I hope you appreciate the content. So next week, um, I'm not sure when, I'm going to make a side-by-side -side with the executive razor from Dollar Shave Club and one of the old vintage Gillettes. I think that would be an interesting test. Um, ever since the last time I used one, I've improved a lot with just general shaving techniques. So. I've actually found this razor is fantastic on this pass. I've got a bit of a razor burn from a couple of shavers ago, so. I'm going really easy over it. Can't remember what I was using. I think I was using a blade I'm not used to. Feels really good. Um, again, for like a ten dollar soap, it does such a good job. Um, I'll always defend Price over that. I think. Again, this annoying <laughs> kind of turning it upside down. Like we all spend, well I do, I don't know about you guys, but I spend quite a lot of money on soap. And consistently, when I use products like this, like Sterling, it's pretty pointless, to tell you the truth. Because these soaps will do an adequate job. Now, don't get me wrong, they don't have moisturising properties or, as a CBD says, essential oils, but... Um, I don't really care, but they, they do a good job. So, I think I'm fine without the cleanup pass. I'm pretty happy. I've got so much soap left, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I'm going to leave this in here and rehydrate it at some point, I think. Um, I'm going to clean up around here and around here. Um, I will be back for my post shave. I will see you in a sec. Hey guys, post shave time. Um, as always, let's get this Allen block out, see where I went wrong. Uh, I may get some feedback from a couple shaves ago, but we'll see. Nothing on this side. Nothing on the mustache area. I do expect something here. If I don't, I'll be surprised. Little bit, little bit there. That seems to be quickly clearing up anyway, which is good. Um, I have a habit of keeping that fucking tap on. The magical Thayer's Witch Hazel. I call it magical because it just works wonders. Feels um, really refreshing to your skin. And last but absolutely not least, one of my favorite post shave bombs, the Presser White for sensitive skin. Get a good glob of that. 
There we go, about that much, as you can see, dripping down my wrist. Mm. Oh, I love this stuff. It's not fancy, it's not expensive. Actually, it is kind of expensive, isn't it? I think it's 16 bucks for this thing, so... That's pretty much as much as any decent artisan product. Um, soap commanders, I can't remember, I think they're $12, so... Which, and soap commanders are excellent. Okay, bit of a conclusion then. So, you saw me have my first kind of shave, or rather, the first shave with a fresh blade. What are my overall first impressions? When I say overall, I don't mean... I haven't had ten shaves with this yet, and people that have been watching me since the get-go, my first kind of first impressions were after ten shaves with the Rex. I've had about five with this. And at the moment, I'm enjoying shaving with it. It has its flaws, as does every razor, I believe. Um, but I feel that that just bare bones, it feels good on your face. Um, if you're careful with it, remember it has a blade in it, it's perfectly fine. Um, it's in a good price point. I, I think it performs really well for its price point. I think the kind of com competitors it has, um, one blade core, uh, in terms of single edges, a bit cheaper than that is the uh, the Black Hawk. Um, this stacks up to them. Uh, they have a few more convenient things. This is a few more convenient things. Now we'll go in that in, a, in the kind of four early impressions of this. Um, I'm enjoying shaving with it at the moment. Uh, as to what I think after five more shaves, I will try and shave a couple times with a slightly duller blade from what I found from my last shaves findings, um, just to get some more intel, get, gather some more information. I've been speaking to Patrick, the owner of Supply, uh, about certain design choices, why they went with it. Gives me more information for the actual first impressions. Um, apart from that, thank you for watching the video. It's been Jack, your host with the Virtual Groom Room, and goodbye for now. Goodbye.